Weimar Republic 1918 to 1924. Munich Putsch 1923. Reasons for Putsch. Hitler did not believe in democracy or in the Republic as he blamed the politicians in the democracy for the signing of the Treaty of Versailles. He was also angry at Stresemann as he called off passive resistance in the Ruhr and had also decided to continue paying the hated reparations to Germany. Hitler saw the economic crisis as a big opportunity to have a putsch as many German people were unhappy with the Republic. He was also influenced by the actions of Mussolini in Italy as Mussolini was in a similar position to Hitler but when he was threatened to march on Rome Italy backed down and made him Prime Minister. Hitler planned to exploit the weaknesses of the Weimar Republic by using the SA to seize control of Munich, the capital state of Bavaria and then march on Berlin. The Putsch On the 8th of November 1923, leaders of the Bavarian government, led by von Kahr, were having a meeting in a beer hall in Munich. Hitler stormed into the meeting and forced the leaders to announce their support for his planned uprising. Hitler announced that he had support from General Ludendorff. He hoped this would gain him more support and the sympathy of the army and the people. After Hitler left the meeting, the Bavarian leaders changed their minds and escaped and then called on the army and the police to put down the rising. As up to 3,000 Nazis marched on Munich city centre, 14 Nazis were killed and two policemen were killed. Hitler and Ludendorff were arrested and charged with high treason, which holds the death penalty. Failures and successes Failure The Putsch failed to achieve its aims. It was badly organised and made the Nazi party humiliated. Hitler did not destroy the Republic and got 14 Nazis killed. Hitler was sentenced to five years of imprisonment and banned from public speaking for two years. Successes Hitler used the 24-day trial to publicise his ideas and attack the Weimar Republic. The judges were sympathetic and gave him the minimum sentence of five years, in which he only served nine months. Hitler was able to write a book in prison which outlined his idea, Mein Kampf. Hitler decided to change his strategy. He would now get into power legally by getting elected and destroy the public from within. Aftermath of the Putsch Hitler now knew that he could not seize power by force, so he now decided to try and seize power legally by getting elected and then to try and destroy the Republic from within. Hitler reorganised the Nazi party after prison. He created a national network of branches around Germany. This meant that the Nazis would now try and get elected into the Reichstag. The Nazi party was now based on a Fuhrer principle, Fuhrerprinzip, which meant absolute obedience to Hitler. Hitler set up his own personal bodyguard in 1926, the SS, a more elite version of the SA. Hitler also set up the Hitler Youth to spread his ideas into children. Hitler continued to use the SA to attack or intimidate political opponents such as communists.